All American and Michigan flags in our state will be lowered to half staff this Sunday, honoring the life and legacy of Kalamazoo County Sergeant Ryan Proxmire. Governor Gretchen Whitmer issuing that order today saying, quote, we all strive to make the kind of impact that Deputy Proxmire had in his nine years with the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department. And this honor on the same day as his funeral, we'll have those details in just a few minutes. Yeah, but first, organizations and community members even are hoping to show their support for the Proxmire family for them during this difficult time. Fox 17's Lauren Coomer brings us some more information on how you can help. The West Michigan community is rallying together, honoring Sergeant Ryan Proxmire and his ultimate sacrifice. Two different t-shirts are already in the works. It's just beyond, it's just unfathomable, right, um, that, that anything like this would happen. Um, and I just feel so terrible for the Proxmire family and the law enforcement family. Kalamazoo County is coming together following the death of Sergeant Ryan Proxmire. The Forever Strong Memorial Foundation started back in 2016 following two Kalamazoo County tragedies is helping out once again. That's why I created it to give back and to memorialize and remember um, not just those two tragedies, but going forward, anything that our community creates or anything that happens to our community uh, that impacts literally everyone. Lori Smith's husband and son were both killed back then during one of those tragedies when an Uber driver went on a shooting spree around the city. Just like others did for her, she's creating a t-shirt that's still in the works where all proceeds will go to the Proxmire family. You're numb for the first year and a half, two years, and so they're going to need money for comfort for you know they don't feel like cooking they don't feel like you know for making sure that the kids have what they need and it's just the list goes on and on the support not just stopping locally as sergeant ryan proxmire's memory is reaching far across west michigan in grand rapids flashpoint firearms llc saying they wanted a way to show their support creating a t-shirt as well the idea was just a way to figure out how to give something to recognize the fallen people um, with having the shirts made because then it officially gives the name of the person and when their end of watch was. To owner Lisa Mayo, it's important to show support for those who put their lives on the line every day to keep everyone else safe. We're from West Michigan. I grew up here. We got a come together as a community to support everyone. If you're interested in purchasing either of the t-shirts, you can head to our website, fox17online.com for more information. Reporting in Kalamazoo County, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. All right, thank you for that, Lauren. And there are other ways that you can help donate to help Sergeant Proxmire's family as well. The Colin Rose Memorial Foundation has a Facebook fundraiser up right now. So far, it's raised over $47,000. Another donation fund is organized through Lake Michigan Credit Union. You can stop by any branch and donate to the Deputy Proxmire Donation Fund. 100% of all that money raised will, of course, go to the Proxmire family. And looking ahead, the funeral for Sergeant Proxmire is happening this Sunday. It is private, we do want you to know, and there will be no public visitation at all. However, after that service, there will be a procession escorting Sergeant Proxmire and his family to Miller Auditorium for a public memorial service. That starts at 11 a.m., and the community is encouraged to line the streets of that route. Stadium Drive from 9th to Howard to show their support. The memorial service is set to begin at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And Fox 17 will have live coverage of the procession and the memorial you can watch this Sunday both on air and online.